for you then? This is a brand new page. All right. And we, we left off right here. Awesome. Great. So we're reading Pink and Say. And this Patricia Blackwell does not put page numbers in her books, but that's okay. I'm just going to go ahead and let you start reading, okay? Lord, Lord, I never thought I'd see my dear boy again. She said as she hugged him. I've been getting along the pinkest warm things got left in the big house when the family left dry goods too. The rest I've been getting from the woods. These, these, a freshwater spring still have some chickens. Even got an old cow out back that still gives. Okay, I'm gonna have you stop, Hannah. You know what? This is a tricky story to read because what Patricia does is she actually writes the way the people are talking. So you're running into some words that aren't used to the way you would say them. And I just want to compliment you because I noticed when you came to words like old cow, you were probably thinking old cow means what? Old. An old cow. And you did a great job of going across that. I noticed that you were paying attention to how it was different because usually when you're reading you use such a great um, story voice or your fluency is. But that's important because as you're moving into books that are harder and harder for you, you're going to have to adjust things like that a little bit. Okay? I'm checking. There are so many words and you're reading so quickly. I was putting a check for each of the lines that you wrote. And what I'm going to put over here is a strength as you were really doing a great job with that dialogue. Okay. And it was tricky because of the dialect. Okay, Dialect is when an author really tries to show how a person would really say it. Okay, So I want you to keep up. This thing here, girl, you've had that since <laughs> spring break. <laughs> okay, so let's keep going. But can you tell me what she's talking about right now before we go on? Let's, just, let's check and monitor to make sure you know what is that, happening. Um, she's talking to um, say, I think, um, about how she left the um, food at the house, at the big house. I don't think it says. Okay. I think you've caught the gist of it where she's saying how she's getting food from the house. Let Mrs. Vivalkar yeah. read this to me and uh, read this to you and then see again if you can explain to me what's going on. Yeah. Lord, Lord, I never thought I'd see my dear boy again, she said as she hugged him. <clears throat> I've been getting along though, Pincus. Warm things got left in the big house when the family left. <clears throat> Dried goods too. The rest I've been getting from the woods. These a freshwater spring. Still have some chickens. Even got an old cow out back that still gives. So what do you think is the most important thing in that paragraph that she's talking about? Food. Did she talk about food? Was that important during the Civil War? Okay. What's the very first sentence say in that paragraph? Lord, Lord, I never thought I'd see my dear boy again. Do you think that's important? Why? Because of the war, it... She thought that you would never see him and again because either he was dead or would, couldn't stop fighting. Okay, I'm glad that you noticed that. Okay, and that's why we stop and we check. That is important because Mama is seeing him again for the first time. So she says, first of all, I never thought I was going to see you again. And then she says, now don't you worry about me. And then she tells him how she's getting by. This is interesting. She said the family left the big house. What do you know about the Civil War when the we say big house? There were slaves that had to work in the big house or fields. Yes, the slaves worked in the big house on the plantations, and now the family's gone because of the war, and she's been able to go into that house to get things she needs to survive. How are you feeling about your reading with this? Good. Good. So what are some things we just talked about that you're doing well and something that I want you to practice as you're reading this? What the words like how they're talking yeah you're doing a good dialect. job the dialect is going to be a little bit different it's going to be what maybe sometimes we call southern dialect okay like when she says the old cow 
or when she says, I've been getting along, that might be how they'd say it in the South. Keep working through that dialogue because that's going nicely. And at the end of the page, stop and think about what's happening, okay? Then you've been all alone here? Pincus asked his mother. Where is everybody? Your daddy run off to fight a month ago. All the hands and their children run off out of harm's way. There's a lot happening on every page in here, isn't there? Okay, I think you're doing a good job though. Keep reading, and then remember we're picking those parts that we can really picture in our head. You can go on off to your seat now, okay? I'm gonna put a few notes here on your paper. Awesome.